today because today we have a no, another awesome project that I am so excited about. Yesterday, who was here when we gave some new life to this piece of junk that I found by the sun wrote, hello, one person's junk, another person's treasure. And so we put, honestly, just some lovely sunshine yellow on this beauty. And uh, it's going to be one of my window props for my shop. Now, I have to tell you that Matt has also found another gorgeous prop that I'll be making use of here in my shop. One of the things you'll notice when you ever come to Junk Monkey, we're located here in Ligonier, Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh, is that I love to collect junk, I love fun colors, and I am definitely a shabby, boho, collect it look kind of person, okay? You can't hide what's inside. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you that this piece is now dry. A lot of you guys message me saying, Sonia, can you show us how you will display it? Will you like show us what you mean when you say put lights on it? And I will. I've got my lights for this episode of our paint challenge. So in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I basically do one more thing to this piece to put it over the top and have it ready to go, okay? So we're going to put this piece to the side right here. It's pretty heavy, but isn't it pretty gorgeous? This is why I'm happy to have big bay windows in my shop because we can light it up, we can plug it in and do some fun stuff with it, right? And not have to pay a fortune. So this is uh, something that Matt found. Everybody give Matt a round of applause. We trained him pretty well. Let me just tell you that. I'm going to pull off these yellow stickers that are on this uh, lamp base. doesn't have a shade. This is how it came. I don't care if it has a shade. All right, while I'm picking these stickers off, Matt, tell me, who is with us and uh, who's hanging out tonight? Uh, let me see here. Let me sorry over on the Facebook side. Let me go over here. We got Chris Reynolds, Nancy Motel, Shailen Frederick, Carol Thomas, Marie Barone, Hannah Keller, Chris Reynolds. Oh, uh, well, she already, I already, I already got her. <laughs> Frazier Barrick, uh, Marie Guido, and uh, everybody else is on here. And then uh, Cheryl Lynn says, Yay, Thursday. Okay. Tomorrow's big blowout weekend. It is. So, weekend. Don't we talk. All week long. Don't talk to me. Uh, More like yeah, you might not want to talk to me till Monday. If I'm on here, I might not be. Why? What's <laughs> to you over there? Somebody need to go back to bed or what? No, back. no. I'm just saying that. I'm just forewarning them. That what? It's a blowout weekend. I can't guarantee you what state I'll be in whenever oh, I reappear I upon. You, are you trying to say that you might not have a coherent sentence to say back to them? I, yeah. Right. All right, so here's what I can tell you, okay, guys? Matt found this lamp right now in his sober state. He did a beautiful job <laughs> picking it, and we're going to go ahead and add some color onto it. So when you find uh, lamps like this, I always like to make sure that they have updated wiring. This is a like a newer, it's a, it's a newer, relatively newer lamp, you know what I mean? It has all the right fixtures on it. You can do a test, run over to the corner, plug that sucker in before you even leave the goodwill to make sure it works okay. And it looks like it's a decent shape. I think this is just missing a lampshade. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this into my shop. So for those of you out there that have shops, that have vendor booths, or you just love shabby boho like me, I'll show you what I do with it to make it come to light. And I ain't going to be putting the shade back on it. I love the top. We're not going to take this off of it. Stay tuned for that. And this is made of like a resin, okay? So it looks like really gold and brassy and just... You know, it's got that speckled, you know the, the speckled look that uh, when they do the fake sort of brassy sort of look? You know what I'm talking about. So the color I'm choosing today, this boho lover in me, is to hey, go with some Bahama Jade. Bahama Jade, I always say, is like when you're in the cruise ship and you're leaving the Bahamas and you look out and you see that beautiful green, blue, vivid colors in the water. You know what I'm talking about? Those just to die for pictures that you see in the tropics. And this color makes my happy. Well, see, Tracy, the uh, the secret to that is, you know, What's the secret to what? What she says, I can party like a rock star, just can't like recover like one. Yeah. You don't need to recover if you don't ever stop. Oh my! I guess he was training in the Marine Corps. I don't know. Oh, you know, you know, you seen us? Yes, I, I yes. Seen your it was it was a train wreck. <laughs> my Chevy trip brush on our website at junkmonkeypaint.com. I tell you guys, I'm a girl that likes to keep it simple. I need to grab my other brush here. Mine's somewhere. Sunday. Isn't so it basically, birthday Sunday? Yeah, it's mm, birthday right, Sunday. Absolutely. Sunday. It'll just be celebrating it multiple days. <laughs> I'll tell you which one it actually truly is, okay? But yeah, Chevy trip brush. And then I also have a brush on my website. It's made by Wooster. It's a full coverage brush. If I wanted to paint this in full coverage, I'm going to go the way of a full coverage brush. But if I want Chevy distressed, 
time more. You know what I'm talking about? Rustic shabby, lovely goodness. I'm gonna go with this little uh, brush right here. You know, paint, painting and making things beautiful does not have to be difficult. And you don't need a million and one tools, okay? You just need good products and you just need to know why you choose them when you do. So I'm gonna choose my shabby chip brush when mm -hmm. I want skips in my paint, okay? When I want the under color cover color to show through, and all I do is just shake and shimmy it all over. And your paint, because it's water-based, you can just wash these brushes out and use them over and over again. So, um... Oh, you have another box, too. Tell me about that. Oh, I'm yeah. done with this before we know it. We got... Yes, we like... We we used to do Klingon. We just had a trouble in the supply chain, so yeah. we, we do like Klingon brushes. Quite honestly with you, I'm going to be honest with you. For five ninety nine, I have learned that I love that rubber flexible handle, okay? I love the cut and the bristles and uh, the way it's made to be cut into stuff. I'm just, I'm just super thrilled. Even if I could get that brush again, I'm going to be totally honest with you, and I can't if I really wanted to, but I don't want you guys to, to wait, wait months to get it yeah, and get exactly. half of my orders. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? We got junk that needs painted, people. Yep. So I'm a girl on a budget, and uh, I pride myself in... After 13 years of, well, more than 13 years, but 13 years of painting things to sell to other people and using a lot of tools, that, yep. you know what, that's not, you don't need to spend a ton of money. Just go with the 599 brush with Wooster. It was an amazing name, and when you start using it, I've had people come in here and tell me they've had to cut the handles off of those long brushes because, and it's true, when you're painting and you're trying to get around something, let me, you don't let me cover this. to be always clacking into it, you know what I mean? So, anyway, yeah, I digress. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Okay, so uh, Kara stopped by Habitat to get paint today. Yes. Did they tell you? What gives? Did, did, did they? Ask? Did, did you they? ask why they? Because uh, if you asked, you might have got the full, full story. story. Yes. Right? Yes. So, so let us know if she, uh, yeah. she got the full story. But just to say, yeah. But just to say that uh, this had nothing to do with Habitat of hum no. with humanity, yeah, Habitat, yeah. and we're actually still working it with them yeah. on other projects. It's just that, it, uh... Let's just say, because I'm a politically correct kind of person, you know, and I like to keep it classy. You guys all know that. But, yeah, let's just say that there was another paint line that was not so happy that we were working with Habitat. What can I say? What can I say? You know? I, I, that's why um, I, you know, and I tell people all the time that some people feel like they have to burn out other people's light to make themselves feel brighter or when they feel like somebody might actually be getting attention more than them. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, know what I'm saying? Read between the lines for my friends. And so yeah. anyway, we are, we still love Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. And, we're gonna be and we would do, Habitat. we wouldn't do anything yeah. to threaten Habitat of Humanity so and their good work. Yeah. Because they were put in a very con conflicted um, situation which was not good for them. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, anyway, we really got to see yeah. the ugly side of people. That's why I say, you guys might remember I was on here one night and I'm like, people, you know, side to even small business, right? People, other brands, and I'm not an other brand kind of mentioner because, listen, I believe that there is, um, you know, you you can be good in your own way without having to try to take other people out to make your product seem good, right? And uh, I think what it comes down to is that we make such a beautiful product that you do not have to pay a fortune for. And we see a lot of people, a lot of converts, a lot of people who find our paint and go, why was I paying all this money for that brand when really, you know what, this is in line with the whole mission of being a junker with, you know, not, you know, when I first started, how we made our paint was because I couldn't afford a brand that was out there. I was so broke and I needed to eat that week that I went into um, to buy paint by another brand and I could not afford it. And so that's when I work with Matt to invent my own. And as a result, you guys were like, wow, how did you get those beautiful results? What brand did you use? And I'd be like, you know, well, it's not really a brand, it's mine. It's me and Matt. We made it together for me to be able to paint and do other people's furniture because I was a custom furniture painter. And I wanted the paint to be the way I wanted it to be paid, right? I'm a sense of Sonia. I wanted to have a certain consistency. I wanted to be able to, like, have a certain look when it's completely finished, which was me as shabby flat matte lover, right? Really, really old and time-worn. And I wanted it to be able to be sturdy to go on metal and glass and wood and fake wood. I wanted it to be able to be watered down to a consistency that I could even letter with it or I could stain things with it. Um, I wanted to have great durability so I could use it even on things like cabinets and things like that. And so as a result, you guys just, you know, I always say that 
our business was not started from a point of view where let's make money off selling paint. Our business started out of the love of what I do, which is transforming junk. And then you guys saw and asked the tools I was using, and I began to share it with you guys. And that's why I say, who remembers when we started uh, making some of my paint available in mason jars in the corner of my store? And uh, from there, it just kept growing. So my business started off as Sonia Shabby Chic. Sonia loves Shabby Chic Distress. And uh, Sonia also loves being able to make things beautiful on a budget without, like I said, with actually being able to do that and have your own paint therapy without feeling bad and have to tell your husband that you just spent, you know, X amount of dollars for paint, when it's ridiculous. It just, you know, come on now. I have learned a lot about the paint world, and I also know overcharging. Okay? Yep. We're just, we would rather for you to be able to have multiple colors in your house uh, for what you pay. And if you actually ever, since we're on this kind of note, if you ever look at our prices compared to a lot of other companies out there, you'll notice that it's not the, the $16 for the plant plus. It's not because we couldn't charge more. It's that we choose to charge at that base point so that, you know what, it makes it feasible for us as a business. But if you compare our prices to a lot of other companies that you may know that do kind of similar, but again, nobody's the same because nobody knows our recipe. So how can they be the same? And to be totally honest with you, I don't care what other people put in their paint. I know I stand behind mine, right? And that's where I stay in my lane and do my thing. But we're, we're very sad because we had to make some changes with our relationship with Habitat for Humanity. We love them. But they were pressured. They were put in a situation by another another uh, paint company um, that really, that were in the, operating in the same building as them. And I think we're all smart enough to kind of read between the lines, right? Yeah, who yeah. threatens a nonprofit? Yeah. Because you, uh, this, this is not nice, and that's why I say, yeah. you know, there is enough sunshine I, and enough yeah. oxygen out there for everybody. Um, and I'd be happy to go into a building that has other paint lines because I stand behind my paint line. Yeah. For somebody to kind of put them in a you know, between a rock and a hard place, yeah. um, because you know what, they obviously don't feel that um, that their paint brand is good enough to stand on its own, right? Yeah. And so you try to squash, squash the other smaller businesses. Yeah. But I don't have any problem if you want to charge fifty dollars for paint. Yeah. But don't rain on my parade trying to you know, do it. Well, you know that's why I say there are people in life, and this applies to anything, that they will try to make your light dimmer, in in an effort to make their light light shine brighter. But um, it doesn't work that way. You guys are smarter than that, right? You guys know what goes down. Hmm. And what went down was this gorgeous painted stand here uh, that we did in our Bahama Jade. Who loves this color? Send me some hearts. This is one of our most favorite design colors. <laughs> Tess said, my husband went into that other place and asked how much that paint was, <laughs> and when the owner told him, he said, is it made of gold? Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. You know, yeah. I digress, but you guys know what I'm saying. You, right. you know, I could tell you that this paint costs $100 a jar, but I'm going to be telling you the truth that this, you're, you're supporting a small business right. that also understands that, you think about where I started, I didn't have enough money to buy another brand's paint. So, you know what? Yeah. I went out don't and my own don't brand. feel bad for us because oh, we are one of the no, fastest growing listen. paint lines in the country. Yes, we but are. And that's what's making the only thing that I want right? people, yeah, the only thing I want to be clear about people is, and I've heard other people say it, that's right is when people go, oh, well, that's a knockoff of this paint. No, no, no. our paint is an original recipe. Yep. Just like other, we do it different. yeah, we, we do it different than everybody. Paint. Yeah, we, we, when we took our paint um, to work from handmade to work with now to be able to have it made by another uh, family manufacturer in the paint line that does that for us to be yep. able to make a bigger, bigger uh, pots of it, if you will, so we can get it out faster right. to you guys because the demand for Junk Monkey is we are one of the fastest growing paint lines right now. And I think it's scaring a lot of, let's just be honest, other companies, and they're following us right now. They might even be listening right now because they know that we've created such a quality paint that I will use so the cows come home to my last day right. on earth. I love it so much. Right. Um, and stand behind that, that it's kind of scary, right, to have a beautiful quality paint, but to have it at such a beautiful price point. It's amazing. Yeah. And that's what I love about it because this paint changed my life Literally, I mean, you think about paint physically changes your home and makes your home more warm and inviting. But beyond that, how many of you guys are in my coaching group where I teach you guys how to grow a business through offering a service like painting other people's cabinets or uh, dressers or, you know, just using your creative talents. And so I believe in the power of paint. It's so life-changing because there's so many ways that it affects people, yeah. you know, creative-wise, with therapy that you get through.
from using paint, how it helps other people, the services that you can do for other people, it is truly life-changing, right? And so I love the fact that our paint line truly get, came from a place of love and not a place of making money. It was yep. done while I worked at Yeah, we had no intentions. And did this on the we side. had no intentions of ever selling the paint we made. It just kind of well, happened that way. As well as you guys, the best companies come from small beginnings, and they all from humble small beginnings, and they're created out of. I have to. I have to do. I have to ask a couple questions. Yeah. Right, answer a couple questions. Okay. Now we plug this thing in. Okay. Yes. Make sure if you get a lamp from somewhere, use a power strip. Do not plug it directly into your wall socket. Oh, that's a good tip. If you don't know. That's a good tip. Okay, because two. How many fuses we've blown. Does the paint dry that so f that fast that you can touch it so quick? Yes, yes it does. Told you. Told you. Yep. And somebody asked earlier, how do you? How, what's the best way to thicken the paint? To thicken it? Does yeah. It to be thicker? Just leave it open. Let it dry a little bit. Maybe let it activate a little yep. bit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you're doing. And if you want to thin it, same, just do the opposite. Our paint is made hardy enough to go ahead and add a little bit of water into it and to really loosen it up, right? Yeah. Guys, if you're ready to see how pretty this is going to be. So this is my, this is already dry, yes. I didn't take the heat into this. I don't think I did, right? No, we're talking. I don't think I did. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, here, here's some, uh, here's a rumor. Ooh, here's a rumor. Yeah. Um, somebody gets here tomorrow. Somebody's showing up tomorrow yes. to the party. Talk about the uh, junk monkey family growing. Yes. Guess who moves in tomorrow, people? Take a guess. Let's see who knows who's going to move in tomorrow. We're getting the apartment ready. Well, thank you, Mary. We appreciate uh, having you here. So, anywho, yes, Pete is here tomorrow. Yep. Martha called it. Pete yes. is here tomorrow, and we will be having a launch weekend special for Pete. He's so. here. We're going to throw a celebration. Yep. That means if you want to try Pete, this is going to be a uh, great time yep. to uh, invite him into your home, okay? Yep. So. And this is a way to get a genuine metallic we, yeah. uh, genuine metallic yep. at a fair, decent price. So, and uh, we've go. done something with this metallic. We, you know, for me as a painter, and for Matt the same way as well, that supports me as a painter, and he sees what I do every single day, is anytime that you can create beautiful effects on a budget, beautiful quality, beautiful durability at an awesome price point, right? Um, but then also be able to know that we're busy people and to be able to skip steps and to be able to do really cool things to like, that way you can transform a piece. You're not waiting three days. You guys know that this is not a place that you come to see Oops, me sorry. for free tutorials and teach you guys how I made money over the last 13 years, turning my <laughs> hobby into a full-on business. Um, that allowed me to be able to leave my corporate job, my husband to be able to do the same, and now our son works with us, and be able to grow the junk monkey to what it is, um, that, you know, we've definitely evolved, and we continue to evolve. And so, anyway, this is the next step. But, yeah, you guys want to be able to flip furniture quickly, right? I started to say that when you watch me in my tutorials, that I'm not somebody that you see working on the same piece for five days straight, and you're like, seriously, can you move on to something? That you <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I like to flip a piece before supper. I like to flip a piece in the evening before I have to go back to work the next day. So everything that we create is created between me and Matt, mm -hmm. who are actual real life for me, painters. Matt's assisted me in a lot of my painting. Um, but just know that everything is done from the perspective of a painter, okay? Yeah. So me, as a CEO, as an owner of a business, I'm not just a, push, a paper pusher, yeah. right? I am somebody who's down on my knees, on all fours, Junkin' and thrifting and painting. So everything that I bring to you guys, I'm not paying somebody to do test on that don't even like work in our world of what we do. It is truly coming from from the heart, right? And I'm going, would I want this for myself? Uh, lampshade question just came up. Yes, Boy, we sure. did we call that one. Um, lampshade, if you're using LED bulbs, you will yep. have no problem. Yep. Um, if you're using high wattage bulbs, um, our paint is non-flammable, but you're creating an extra layer of heat barrier. So, there you guys are. How, when, yeah, just, just be aware that if you do it, like, you know, I paint lampshade for my house, but I also don't put high, high voltage uh, bulbs because they burn hotter. And I want it, and I don't leave them on for long periods of time, right? So, you've got to kind of manage that in your own world. So, but I want mm -hmm. you to know that when you do put any product on top of a lampshade, 
you're now, you know, maybe a lancy doesn't breathe like it used to because you've changed the texture of it, right? right. So that's why I go low watt. I don't leave it on long time if I need to do it. I'm not even going to pull Nancy on here, though, okay? Yep, yeah. and this is an LED, Edison. This is fun. Yeah. So I didn't get to tell everybody, if you share exactly. on YouTube and yes. on Facebook, yes. you'll be eligible for 20 big banana bucks. And who knows, it might help you get a little closer to Pete. Oh, there, I like it. I like it. You I want to pull it back because they can't see the individual like swirls in it. Pull it back this way? Yeah, because it's like really bright. Well, I'm going to turn off some lights. Well, I don't know if so that'll help it. So we can see it. here. All right. Uh, Let's see what we can do. Here. Oh, it just made it worse. <laughs> But this one has the corkscrew. Uh, made it worse. Yeah. Well, the... I want to show them something real quick. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to be in the dark here. Can you guys handle it? All right. Nobody's scared out there, are you guys? So I love, I love, like, lights. Yeah. Who remembers when I had my big 7,000 square foot building? I had big, big Edison bulbs draped across the yeah. ceiling back in 2013. Yeah, basically, it looks like your head's on fire right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I promised my head's on fire. So anyway, this is, and then I just wrap these little fairy lights. By the way, I got these little lights. Can you guys see these down here? Yeah, they're kind of getting drowned out by the uh, big light. Here, let's see this. Turn that off. Okay. Let me see if I can find a place where it's not so hot. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to go back and read some comments while you are doing that. What's everybody up to tonight? Thank you, Susan, for sharing. Tess, you remember? Oh, I love Edison bulbs. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now. Turn off the lights, turn off the lights. Yes. Oh, yep. Anne's going to start singing. Thank you, Karen, for sharing. Uh, thanks, Barb. Listen, it is so fun to find pieces, and I love, like, old stores that I go into to support other other small local businesses. And um, I love, love, love. I like the – I like – cozy lights like I'm somebody who you know you go home in the evening and you turn a light on the corner just because you like how it feels right you know what I mean or your tart light so on your counter let me see I'm gonna turn the kind of look and see yeah yeah it's the same thing all right you can bring it back it's okay so anybody who's won banana bucks, all you do is you just make sure you email us. So did Matt talk about banana bucks? I think we did, right? Yeah. Everybody who shares, we're going to go ahead and we're going to holler out somebody on Facebook and somebody on um, YouTube that's hung out with us and chatted with us tonight. And uh, we're going to go ahead and holler their name. And then you just make sure you email us by midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then we get back to you. Just give me like a day or so to get back to you. Sometimes, you know what, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I get back to you before I leave work here for the night. And sometimes it's tomorrow afternoon or just give me 24 to 48 hours, right, to give you a special code. Because I actually go in and manually create it for you guys. Woohoo! I love these pieces. So we're going to go. I'm going to turn these lights on again. Um, just so you guys can, even though, just know that there's a swirly coil in here. You guys know what an Edison ball is, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> because you're like, just bring it back around. How many people does it take to turn a light on? Uh, All right, uh, so yeah, so just trust me when I say there is a, and I don't want to stare at the light that too much, but there is a coily, orangey, like, bulb in here, okay? And then we have this one right here. So this was $7.99. We put the, where did you put that? There you go, Martha. Martha. This bulb. Lowe's. Okay, this, this is on special for six bucks. Nice. And you know what? The lights that I put on here, by the way, right now I got these today when I was over at Michael's. And uh, Michael's has these lights. Some people call them fairy lights. It just depends on the brand that you buy. Right. And they come in blue, and they come in soft white, and I don't know, cold white. They come white, in all kinds of shades. colors. But they're half price right now, so I've got my lights over here for $8. So if you can imagine, can you see the lights on here, by the way, with this on? Right. So this was free. I put some Junk Monkey on it. I like my bling bling. I added one little strip. I just kind of swirled it around, do whatever you want. If you would turn off that big light, you And I could put it into better. my window, and I think it would be super cool for my, um, it'll be super cool for my window, right? I'm all about making your home beautiful on a budget and also Thank you, Patricia. Life. So, Yay. um. Yay. What we're going to be doing too, we're talking about, is we've had a lot of requests. So we're going to be doing cabinet kits this this spring. Yeah, so we're going to do like uh, the color combo kits, like you guys want to know mermaid colors and things like that. Yeah. So we're going to do that. So we're going to be expanding out to where yes. we're going to make it easier for you guys. And let's just say there's a whole other line coming out as well here at Junk Monkey because yep. um, I am not passionate paint. about yeah exactly. <laughs> I am passionate about making your furniture beautiful on a budget. And um, I want to show you, I don't want to say too much right now because I don't want to spoil the surprise. We've got Pete coming over. We've got to celebrate Pete right now. But let's just say, even past Pete, 
bad lucky. Um, there's more fun to come as well. More yeah. fun this, And right? for tests, yes, yeah, silver is in development. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's going to be a whole line. So yeah. we're starting. The first one that I'm bringing out. Heavy. I know, I told you. That's why the movies, when like the chandelier falls on your head. Yeah, no you wonder die. you die. Yeah. Now I know why. That would kill you. Yes. Yeah, the so real deal right yeah. there. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the whole line. So the first color, peach color that, um, that uh, basically... You want to turn that light on because you're killing YouTube. Big shiny <laughs> dreams for your furniture. <laughs> They're dying. Um, no worries, guys. Don't die on us. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, champagne is coming out, okay? Because yeah. here's the deal. Metallic champagne is my go-to. So I'm going to share with you guys, like, the, when we bring out things that's smart, part of our small business here with Junk Monkey, and it just spreads like wildfire, mm. the products that we are bringing out are amazing products like so when i look at a line of metallics and i'm investing in to bring out all these paints for you guys i go what do my people need first yeah. right i look into having my own experiences yeah. and go okay what is going to serve them best first mm -hmm. and so i know as a painter for over a decade that champagne is the metallic that every shabby painter or painter should have because champagne metallic actually takes on silver and gold so a lot of times you're dealing with customers or whether it's yourself and you're not sure you should go gold or you should go silver, go champagne. It is the happy medium when you don't know which side you want to go to. So when you put silver with champagne, it matches beautifully. And when you put gold with champagne, it matches beautifully, right? But we know that there's also pearls and there's also uh, oh, yeah. rose gold. And all, the other things and all different things that are yeah. more carved out. Those are all going to come as well. Well, yeah. you can go here and hit shop above or just go to jumpmonkeypaint.com. Yeah. Patrice, we love you in England as well. Thank you, England. We're working Thank very you. hard this year to have our paint go yes, inter absolutely. international, all the paint line, not just part of it. Yep, everything. Um, <laughs> Every time people come to you. So, she said, Nancy said, if Pete mis misbehaves, can we just call him Peter? Of course. Oh, yeah, I, love it. It. I love it. I love so, it. So, any. Pete, I got to talk yeah. about Pete. Pete's, uh, so, Pete's a rock star, right? He's got dreams of being a rock star. And so, our line of metallics that do some pretty special things. I don't know any other Pete that does about what I'm about to show you with Pete and how cool he is. But basically, it's when you, you know, Pete's got big dreams. You know, he's a metal. A whole new look. Metal. Yeah, yeah. And we went, of course, uh, this with. This is big shiny dreams for your future. Yes. And of course, he will have his own unique look. We've uh, worked really hard at bringing the new uh, a bit edgy. labels, you know. Yeah. You will love him. You will love him. He's a yep. character of his own. Of course, we've got Pickles. For anybody who's new here, yep. Pickles is a little boy monkey. He's on our talkie style paint, does what he's told, stays where he's told, sits where he's told. He sticks on pretty much whatever you put him on, right? You guys know that. Miss <laughs> Petunia, she's a little girl doing the handstand. She's got the paintbrush in her tail, the rosette. She's going to get a... I think she's going to get a makeover, too. She wants. She is just... She's just cute, and she's fun, and she's fabulous, yep. okay? And she's fragile, and she chips. And uh, she gets that wild hair for butt, and you never know what she's going to do. Guys, if you are in the Junk Monkey Paint Projects group, we have almost 5,000 painters in there right now. Every day we grow, and we add more and more people who request to join the group. And uh, today, I'm trying to remember the name of the person was Anna, uh, who put a picture in there. She did this beautiful stand with our foggy gray. If you're not in Junk Monkey Paint Projects, you need to be. It's just a free group for all of you guys. It's our community where we all get to hang out and see what all you guys are doing. You guys get to watch me instruct you guys for free openly right here and teach you everything that I've done as a shabby painter for 10 years to be able to take my hobby into a business and to be able to create beautiful looks. Sonia, that Son is where you guys <laughs> like our kids, Sonia named the monkeys. What's that? People are monkeys? asking who named the monkeys. It, it was a joint effort, yeah. It was a joint effort. Because no. About it. That's not true. Well, you, know, you were like, I named this monkey Pickles. Is that okay? What am I going to say? I'm going to say, well, I like pickles. of course, yes, it's like okay. Pickles, right? And then it was, then it was, this is Petunia. Yes, it is. And, that was, and I was never asked on that. Right. The only oh. thing I was asked was about the P, and I came out with a uh, yes. tons of them. Yes. So I guess. Uh, so we started with well, pickles and petunia. We're like, then we're going to yeah. need another P. It's going to be cheese, yeah, right? P. Yeah. And uh, actually, there's another P. Yes. Working. There is, there is another uh, family member in the works. Okay? His name is Poe. Yes. But that's all we're going to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is P, and then Poe comes out. Oh, gosh, guys. Poe is going to be time. out in the month. Yeah. Yeah. But it's because of you guys. Because we are truly a small business. And when you guys invest in Junk Monkey, we then invest back in bringing more products your way that you can get on a budget. Amazing quality. Wow, I don't even know what I'm doing. Do I, 
I don't know if we'll be here the first week of May. Uh, you know, just keep in touch because we never know what we're doing from one minute to the other. Yeah. We well, might be somewhere. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people coming to visit. You can always email me. Now, so, I'm in the shop pretty much every day of the week. But just remember that behind the scenes, all this stuff that we talk about, when they paint one, it has comments, to be done. Products, those are all things that we work on behind the scenes, right? So I'm in the office. I coach almost 150 people all around yeah. the country as well as how to grow their business. So we're like Laffy Taffy. But if there's ever a specific time that you know you're coming, and you're more than welcome to shoot us an email at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com and say, hey, Sonia, I'm coming on Thursday. I should arrive about two weeks. Are you going to be around there, right? And I can say... I'm going to be here from 2, but at 3 o'clock I'm going to jump into a meeting or something like that. Mert, yeah. uh, there's all kinds of glazing tutorials. If you go back through the video profile, you'll find them there, and they're all ready to go for you. So, and, uh, well, I will give you a hint, Anna. Poe is not a paint. No, Poe is not a paint. Poe is not a paint. Yeah. Poe is a new... We like to make things beautiful around yeah. here, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we like to, we like to do things. Uh, we're not even going to say what it is, okay? Yeah. Just have been saying. Because... Yeah. Awesome. That's all you get. It's yeah, not a pain. <laughs> His name is Poe and it's not a pain. Yeah. All right. You guys can think on that. Yeah. All right. I think we're done. So, guys, yesterday we flipped this piece of junk that's going to go in my window as a really cool display. This is a $7.99 uh, lamp, resin lamp that Matt found at Goodwill. Missing a shade. We put in our little uh, Edison no book. into it. No, no, no book. This is for and your furniture. It's going to go <laughs> in my shop to make, make it. This is my home away from home. Right? And I love it when you guys come in and you get to see all the colors and all the, the different things. A lot of you guys will say, oh my gosh, I saw it when you painted that live. And it's nice because you want to come in and you go, okay, I want this look. How do you get it? So I like to keep lots of stuff around my shop. So when you guys come in and make your paint selections, you can touch and feel and get it, you know, see it first hand, which is cool. All right, let's go ahead and do some winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, let me go find some winners. All right, you, you find some winners. Everybody's going nuts. Is it a brush? Is it? No, y'all are wrong. Y'all are so wrong. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Oh, yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna have to trust us, right? Yes, you're just what gonna. Steer you wrong. You're just gonna have. That maybe, because you know. Yeah. I'm joking, but you know what I'm saying. Willanette yeah. Kelly, Willanette Kelly Will on Annette. YouTube. Yep. And Rashonda Light. Willanette, Rashonda. All right. Light. Hopefully you yeah. hear this right now. Yeah. So what I need you to do is email me at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, to collect on your $20 mm -hmm. in banana bucks. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not for it's, it's not a stain. It's not a stain. So yeah, it's well, not a stain. We, we have our glazes. They'll and we use, we use our glazes and our milk paint as a stain if you really want to. So we kind of got oh, that yeah, covered. Paint, yeah. So stain, yeah, no paint. This is something completely different. Yep, something completely oh, different. Oh, man, we're going to drive them crazy. <laughs> we're going to drive them crazy. All right. All right, we'll shed some light on the matter. Ah. Uh, right. So, life uh, is good, my friends. I hope life is good for you guys, too. And, uh, nope, yeah. it's not a cleaner. It's nothing do liquid. Some, <laughs> Sorry. Do something creative, all right? There yeah. you go. We'll be, back, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow painting some furniture, doing something. But, yeah. I and we'll introduce you to uh, Pete. Yes. Tomorrow. To, oh, yes. Let's do something where we can really show what Pete can do. All right. Pete. I've got ideas. Pete, Pete, Pete. All right, see you tomorrow. There will be one more member of the Junk Monkey family. All right, yep. go to jumpmonkeypaint.com if you want right. to get your No, not, nothing keto. No, you can't eat Poe. He, no, he, no. We're monkeys like, are not good to eat. We're talking about for new painters out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is for, this is part of the Junk painters, Monkey line, yeah. sign makers, yeah. Yeah. All those things. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. No you don't have to put arm. extra bond in the milk paint unless you want it to act like a chalk paint. Okay. Yep, chocolate So here's style. the deal. With Miss Petunia, with the milk paint real quick. He will be for sale here, tomorrow. The milk paint chips the more glossy your surface. So you use Chippy Hippie to give sugar to Petunia to make her act more crazy. And you put extra bond into Miss Petunia, into the milk paint once you have it uh, mixed together, your paint is created. Then add your bond to make her sit her butt to the chair. Okay, it makes sense? One gives her sugar, one makes her calm down a little bit more. But she's totally unpredictable. So, if you want to go with predictable, then you want to stick with pickles. Or if you want to have big shiny dreams for your furniture, Pete, welcome Pete. That's kind All of right. scary with you in the light, really? Charlie. Look into the light. Yeah, Alright, guys. Yeah. Stop twisting Matt's oh. arm. He'll be in here all night trying to give you clues. But we'll be back tomorrow in the uh, evening. So hey, Marie, so you're wrong. You can guess to the I bet you guys will never. You guys, yeah. Forever. You guys will never guess. So right. I'll just let you guys know. Okay. All right.
right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.